Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the G.I. Joe Classified Nemesis Immortal. Now, take a look at the front, we can see that this figure comes in a very large scale classified window box packaging. And if we turn the box around, some great images of this ridiculously wild figure. So with the box out of the way, let's go ahead and crack this figure open and let him breathe. All right, guys, now let's take a closer look at the new Nemesis Immortal. Nemesis Enforcer, well, who, you know what, who cares? So many people are up in arms about the name change of the character. It's not that big a deal, guys. It's your toy. You can call him whatever you like. You can call him mixed stinky butt. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's just a cool figure and a cool character. You know, I always love the weirdos of G.I. Joe. I love the neon characters in G.I. Joe. You know, most people love the straight up military dudes. That's fine. That's okay. I get it. Um, those are a little too boring for me. I like freaks like this. And this dude is a freak. I love it so much, man. Uh, and this is just... A really cool update to that old figure. You know, that old figure was just fantastic as far as I'm concerned. I had it when I was a kid. Uh, sadly, I don't have it anymore. Uh, but this is something that I genuinely had to pick up immediately when I saw it go up for pre-order. So I just love, first of all, how big and chunky he is, man. He is a just a beast compared to uh, the other classified figures. You'll see some comparisons a little later on. But damn, I love how... This is very much an updated version of that classic figure, and I'm for that. Again, I'm not a G.I. Joe purist. I know some people just want those classic O-rings in classified style. Again, not my thing. I want a little more modern takes, a little more detail, and things like that. And that is definitely what the G.I. Joe team over at Hasbro did with this, which I think turned out great. Again, all this sculpted detail like around this collar right here, this almost like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like fur or like some type of webbed armor like a shell of some type which looks really crazy uh but even the texture i don't know if you could tell maybe if i darken up my camera here and you can even see the, the texture in like the purple uh undersuit that he's wearing like there it looks really cool and the same thing with like his legs like this like almost insectoid crustacean like armor you can see he has like the clawed feet and things like that same thing like with his forearms he's got these like almost like bone blades coming off right here and he's got these fur shoulders with this really nice wash on there that just looks really cool again this just looks freaking gnarly dude Again, the texture on like his butt right here and all this purple and the fabric looks really, really good. I just love how he just looks like some crazy ass mutant and he's awesome, dude. I love this so much. I think they did a fantastic job. So I'm changing my format a little bit here. Usually I run down the articulation last, but I'm going to go and do it now um, and save accessories for last. Um, so the articulation is actually pretty good on this guy. You know, you do got a separate ball a joint on the neck and then one in the head. So it kind of rolls around a little bit, does turn left and right. You can't really look up that far with this particular head because that mohawk kind of hits the back there. So if I take that one off and put the standard one on, it looks up a little bit more, uh, but not honestly, not a lot. This kind of collar goes up pretty high, so it kind of hits that a bit, you know what I mean? And then kind of pivot side to side. Arms go full 360. Again, I love how these shoulders are uh, separate pieces kind of in that socket there. You got butterfly joints. You can go all the way up that far with those arms. Rotation at the bicep. You have double jointed elbows that are seamless or pinless, excuse me. Um, now, the, the joints I've noticed are extremely tight and I really had to get some heat on there. So you do kind of, kind of bend, there you go, get that little bend going on a lot better. So you got that right there. So you definitely want to heat these figures up, kind of rotate at the glove there, then rotate at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. That works very nicely. We do get a ball pick in the upper section and one in the lower section. So that rolls around, does turn left and right, crunches back about that much, forward and about that far, pivot side to side. Hip joints that can kick up and out that far, back not so much. We get some Van Dam splits about that far right there. Uh, no rotation in here. I was trying to see, um, maybe it's just mine's too tight. I don't know, 
but for me I and I tried heating them up but I'm getting no rotation cut right in there so I'm not sure if there is or mine are just stuck uh, but we got double jointed knees that go about like that and we got ankles that go forward <laughs> only up that far back honestly not so much again mostly because of the sculpt but we get a really sweet ankle rocker man so pretty decent articulation again tied in with the articulation of the other pieces that you'll see accessories you'll see here soon but this is really rad man i'm really digging this so now let's get into some accessories here um he does come with interchangeable hands so you do get fisted hands and then gripping hands one for each side so you got two pairs of hands like that which are really nice uh you do get his really cool swords again even the swords look like they're mutated you know they have like these talons and things like that and i don't know this will be like blood or something like that so i don't know those are really cool you can hold him. Uh, the 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 tooth or talon, whatever you want to call it, is meant to go back. I I originally thought they were kind of meant to go like this, uh, but they are meant to be more held like that. And to be honest with you, I wish he held these a little bit better. But I mean, once you get it, you got it. They work out really good. Uh, and then same thing. These go all the way in these long sheaths in his um, sides right here. So it's supposed to go like this, and then take this one and kind of go all the way in there like that. Again, the teeth is, I'm assuming it's supposed to go backwards. I think that's how it is. Uh, they show pictures on the box, so I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So something like that is really cool. We also do get two head sculpts, which is of course the standard one right here. I think it looks great. Again, very much like the vintage type of Nemesis uh, with that purple cowl. Again, I love the texture that they gave on the cowl. The eyes just look so freaking awesome. Very, very cool. We can go ahead and just pop this off. It is just on a simple ball peg like that. And we can pop this one on right here, which I think is fantastic as well. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this because again, it's too modern for them. The purists just don't hate, they, they, they just hate change. You know what I mean? Uh, but I think this looks freaking cool, man. It just adds to the weirdness of this guy. He has like this bone like mask. I don't know if it's growing on him or what, but it just looks so dope. And those eyes just with that dark shading around the eyes and that bright yellow makes the eyes pop even more. I just think it looks really cool. I also love that it's kind of like a mohawk kind of thing that wraps around the back of the skull. I just think this is so awesome, man. I really, really like that a lot. Now, of course, Nemesis comes with his signature wings. Actually, let me get him out the way because these are kind of big. So we got these wings here. Again, really, really cool because uh, much like Nemesis himself, they have these almost like insect, uh, again, crustacean-like arms, but they're attached to like bat wings. And then you have like fur on there. And so it almost looks like an actual bat. Um, but then you have up here, I don't know if these are supposed to be like mandible teeth or something like that. Um, but it's really cool. These are also like kind of like semi-transparent. You can kind of see that, which I think is really cool. Um, and they showed, I remember on one of the things where the reveals, um, where you can kind of have this as like a secondary character, kind of like walking around or flying around or whatever. Uh, but this thing's fully articulated. The arms can go up and down. Uh, these pieces are on a separate little uh, ring in there, so you can rotate these. They kind of flap up and down. Uh, then they hinge up here at the, I guess, what would be the elbow, which is really cool. So you, you get a lot of good motion on those, and they're really, really nice. Uh, they do have a little peg on the inside of them like that, so you can peg him on to the back of him like so, and then he just becomes big. And, like, I'm having a little trouble. Um, just let me get him off camera real, set, real quick. So I get him turned around, but I mean, that is like crazy, dude. And then you get that wingspan going, you know what I mean? Just get these extended out like that. And it just looks insane in person, man. What a cool looking character. Again, I love the fur of not only his like shoulder pads, but then you got fur on the shoulders of like the wings themselves, which I think is pretty rad. So I dig that a lot. Um, but probably my favorite thing and no joke, I really do mean this. It's probably my favorite thing. We get the little tentacle thing, whatever this is. Um, again, I said I had the vintage toy when I was a kid. And the only thing that I had left of that kid, or that, that figure, when I was a kid, uh, I found a few years ago in a box, was the tentacle attachment thing that came with that vintage toy. Um, and I just remember loving that thing. But it's really cool, because as you can kind of see... Um, that little black piece right there is a bit of like a mouth. So it has like a jaw or a beak of some sort. And then again, it has like a crustacean like shell. Then you have all these weird like octopi 
uh, tentacles that are on bendy wires. So you can like pose these all around and do whatever you like and just get some crazy looking poses out of it, which is gnarly. So again, you can have this walking around next to Nemesis Enforcer with like those bat wings as another character or much like the vintage toy, you know, you have a little peg on there and you actually peg this onto the back of the figure itself and then have something like that going on. Holy crap, dude. I think this is such a cool toy. A freak of nature, a total weird weirdo, a total badass, and a definite must get. So for a quick size comparison, here is Nemesis standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and Mafex Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to a Transformers Soundwave and Lightning Collection Lord Zed. And for even more comparison, here he is standing next to a Mythic Legion Scapular and Mafex Bane. And for some classified comparison, here he is standing next to the retro carded Cobra Trooper and Night Creeper. And for even more Joe comparison, here he is standing next to a Mezco 112 Collective Firefly and Roadblock. So there it is guys, my review of Nemesis Immortal, Nemesis Enforcer, whatever you want to call him, who cares? He's badass, man. Again, I love the weirdos of G.I. Joe. The standard military guys are cool, but I love the freaks like this, and God, he is definitely a freak. I love how Hasbro just went above and beyond with the sculpt and the design, giving him these like multi-creature attributes to his look, like bat wings and fur and like insectoid armor and those crazy tentacles like oh my god the sculpt and design is just perfect i love him so much i love how big and chonky he is compared to other classified figures he really stands out as something special and unique on your shelves i love the fact that we got those swords now the new head sculpt is really cool in my opinion the articulation works pretty well for the most part it can be hindered in certain areas but i love the fact that we get those articulated wings and the, again the bend wires for the uh, octopi legs and things like that i mean this is just a really weird and unique gi joe piece i love it i'm so glad to have in a collection and i think you will absolutely love him for your classified shelves so don't forget to be excellent to each other and stay nerdy my friends peace